Right now, a six-figure reward is being offered to help catch the man wanted for killing this Chicago police officer, Luis Huesca. He was shot to death nearly one week ago. CBS 2 Sarah Maki is live outside police headquarters tonight with more on the reward and the man police are looking for. Sarah. Tara, that's right. This is a combined $100,000 reward coming from various agencies. They're trying to bring in the man that they suspect killed Officer Weska early Sunday morning. The flag of mourning for Chicago law enforcement. This gold star waves outside CPD headquarters. The fabric catching in the wind as investigators announce a new incentive in their search to catch their suspect. They are offering $100,000 from groups including Crime Stoppers, the FBI, ATF, and various police organizations. 22-year-old Xavier Tate Jr. is still at large, charged with first-degree murder in an arrest warrant filed Friday. In court documents, investigators write Tate knowingly and intentionally fired a 40 caliber handgun, striking Huesca, causing his death. Police releasing this surveillance video of Tate earlier this week. <laughs> Officer Huesca had just pulled into his Gage Park home, returning from his shift, still in uniform, when a shot spotter alerted police to gunshots in the area near 56th and Kedzie. Police believe the six-year veteran was killed in a possible carjacking. His car and service weapon were both gone. Investigators found his car first and possibly recovered his gun Friday at a Southside home near 108th and Hale. This is going to be uh, in relation to the uh, off-duty PO um, incident from last Saturday. Investigators were already there when we're told a relative was seen throwing a firearm over a fence into a yard before police took that relative into custody. Court records show Tate was due in court in Markham on Wednesday on an unrelated charge, but did not appear. Anyone with information is asked to file an anonymous tip with Crime Stoppers. Wesca's visitation is scheduled for tomorrow. Funeral services on Monday at CPD headquarters, Saramaki, CBS2 News. Thank you, Sarah.